Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a new episode. Uh, today I've got for you still dive 1954C, and I've got an idea. I really like this orange bezel and new hands, and I've got an idea. What if I add more orange to these colors, like this dial? Plus, I have some orange hands as well, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this because the original hands are nice too and they're much brighter than this one okay let's start and see what we can do with it so first of all let's open the case again don't forget to use something to protect it from scratches Let's take the movement out from the case. In every video I show you how to do it correctly, because if you if you make a mistake here, you're gonna screw up with the keyless system here, and then you have to disassemble the whole movement. It is very boring and long process. Yeah, so when you pull the crown out, make sure you press and hold on this tiny spot where I point right now. Okay. It's really beautiful dial and hands. I, I don't really want to change it, but <laughs> I really like that orange bezel and I think it might be something cool if I combine the orange dial plus bezel. Let's see, not sure. Next step. Check out the new dial. The colors are very beautiful. The tails are great too. The loom isn't that bright compared to the original steel dial, but there are not many watches which can compete uh, in the loom with steel dial. So check at the back the pins and cut the one you don't need. Okay, it's done. Take a look. I polish it slightly so there is nothing left on the dial. absolutely beautiful okay it's a really good start let's see now I'm gonna try to put the hands see which one is better okay so right now I'm gonna be the hardest part I have to choose between two sets of hands um what do you think guys should I keep the original one or put the same actually a little bit darker orange and the loom should be weaker than original hands. Hmm, it's a hard decision. Okay, let's try to put it on the dial and let's see which one looks better. Okay, so I won't put it straight on the dial because I don't want to accidentally scratch the dial. Just like that.
What do you think, guys? Unfortunately, I cannot hear your answer. But should be something like this. I think it's good, but let's try another set. Okay, let me show you how it looks like with the bracelet and then we check the loom. Here you go, the final result looks absolutely beautiful. Yeah, so shortly about the, the specs of this model, um, the case diameter is 41 millimeters, so it's suitable for most of people. Um, the bracelet side 20 millimeters, uh, the thickness uh, as I remember, it's like 13 millimeters or 12.5. Uh, then this model has Seiko NH 35 movement, ceramic bezel with uh, with the loom. You're gonna see it later. Uh, then sapphire glass and 200 meters waterproof. Here is the steel dive logo at the back, the bracelet, upgraded clasp, the new one. And yeah, about the waterproof, be sure it is waterproof. Before I seal it, I use silicone grease for all the gaskets. So it remains its waterproof qualities. And let's check the loom. And as you can see, the loom is pretty good as well. The hands are much brighter than dial markers. But at night it's gonna be visible for sure. Thank you for watching and see you in my next videos. Don't forget to put like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks again and see you, goodbye, have a nice day.